All right, um, we're going to work on some more Pi QGIS today. Um, this time we're going to work with some vector layers and iterating through features and working with fields and things like that. Um, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to go to my plugins, and I'm going to open up the Python console. And like I've done before, I'm going to open up to show the editor. And here's the script from last time. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this file name to use in this next tutorial and then um, we'll start a, a new script here. So I'll paste in my file name and I've actually um, created a new file because we're going to delete some things here and I want to keep that original one intact. Okay, let's just go ahead and get that file name correct. And the first thing we're going to do, like usual, we'll just go ahead and we'll add this layer uh, into the QGIS interface. And that's iface add vector layer. And we give it a file name. I'm going to give it a blank layer name and the data provider, which is OGR. Okay, so that's going to add it in and it's going to give me uh, the layer to work with. So, what I want to do first in this video is in this layer. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just run this, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here's our here's our layer. It's a stream network that we used in the last video also. I'm just going to open up this attribute table. And so you can see that we have uh, 296 features. And each feature is going to have geometry associated with it. It has a length associated with it. Um, it has this grid code from node to node and an arc ID. Um, these just tell which nodes it goes from or to. Um, the grid code is the stream order, which is really the only variable I actually care about, care about in here. Length might be important also, though. Um, so each of these rows represents something about a feature, and the feature also has the geometry. So if you want to make any changes to a shape file, we need to access information contained for each feature and that is what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead, I'm going to remove this again and the thing we need to do is we need to get all the features from this layer. So to do this we're going to do features equals layer dot get oops, features. Okay. And then, let's make this features. And then what we can do is we can loop through all these features. So we can do for feature in features. And that will loop through everything. So let's go ahead, um, let's loop, once we loop through these, let's actually print some information. Um, so we can print the feature ID and to access the feature ID we can just do feature.id. Um, let's also print the stream order. And to do that we're going to need to access the field called grid code. And there are two ways to do that. So we can do feature and we can give it the name which is grid underscore code. The other way is we can do feature um, and the index of that code. So I think this is going to be in the, the second position. We will see if these don't line up. It means I did something wrong. So let's go ahead and we'll click run here. And what we should get is we should get a list printed out here of 200 and what was it, 96 uh, different feature IDs with the stream orders. So I'm going to click run and we should get that. Okay, there you go. And you can see right away that I put in the wrong uh, feature code or the wrong uh, index for the stream order. Um, and it looks like, oh, there we go, we froze up there for a minute. It looks like it closed out my uh, console editor. I'm going to go ahead and just open that back up. 
give that a second to open. Okay, we've got that back open now. I'm just going to go ahead and take this off the end. Um, you can look at the attribute table and find the, the correct one for that. I'm not going to worry about it now. Um, but that's how you can go through a feature and how you can print the attribute information for that feature. Okay, so let's go through how we could add some fields or some columns to this layer. Um, I'm going to comment this out for now. We're not going to loop through anything just yet. So I'm going to comment that out. Um, and I'm going to make a new variable called caps for capabilities. We'll do layer dot data provider dot capabilities. Okay. And this is just going to give us a list of capabilities that we can do with this layer. And one of those is going to be to create fields. So what we'll do is we'll do if caps uh, and we'll put and, and then we're going to check to see if this layer has the capability to create a new field, which we can do with QGS data provider uh, add attributes. Okay, and colon. And if that is the case, then we want to create a new field. And so if this is supported, we'll just make a new variable, I'll call it res for result, and we'll do layer dot data provider dot add attributes. And here we're going to create uh, attributes we want to add. So I'm going to create two new attributes. Um, the first will be, we'll call it uh, order cat for order category. And then we need to give it a type, which we're going to use Q variant. And we'll, it's going to be a string. Okay, and so then we can close that off. I just need to check and check the type of this. This needs to be a Q string. Okay, I kind of messed that one up. So this needs to be a QGS field. And that will go in parentheses. And this will go in parentheses. And so what we're doing is we're, we're passing add, attribute, add attributes a list of fields we want to create. Okay. Um, so we're going to hit comma here, and we'll hit enter, and the next one I'm going to create, so I'm going to do another QGS field, and we'll call this uh, LENCAT for length category, so this is just going to be a category of uh, how long the stream section is. Okay. And so then, I'll read that, Maybe, uh, another parenthesis at the end there. So now we have these two fields we want to create. And once we've created fields, uh, we need to do layer update fields. Okay, um, I'm just going to double check the update fields, make sure I've got that correct. Okay, so that is correct. Um, I'm just going to remove this from the map and we'll go ahead and run this and what we should get when we open the attribute table we should have two new fields. We'll go ahead and click run here and we have an error doesn't have oh I think we need parentheses here. This is in line Nine, so there's something wrong here. Let me check that one also. Okay, and this should actually be vector data provider. Add attributes. So let's give that a try. Okay, now I've got all these open. I'm going to just remove all these again. Um, and let's hit run here. Okay, we added that in. Now let's open the attribute table. And so because I've run this multiple times, you can see that I have two, uh, it added it in again and added an underscore one at the end of that. 
and that's because I've, I've run this code twice. And if I ran it again, it would add an underscore two onto it. Okay, but you can see that it's added uh, those categories for us. Okay, so now that I have these added, I'm going to comment this out so that I don't keep adding. Um, so let's give that a comment out. And the other thing that we can do while we're at it um, is we have a couple things we want to remove. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove those. Uh, if caps, and then we need to check if. Oops, sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing here. This is a QGS vector data provider, and I believe it should be. It's either remove or delete attributes. There's delete attributes. Okay. And we need the colon, and then we can do the result equals layer dot data provider, and delete attributes. And I think here uh, we're just going to, need to give it the names. Let me just check on the proper syntax for this. Okay, so we should be able to use a list and give it the column indices. And we want the last two columns. We want minus one and minus two. So let's see if that will work for us. Excuse me, I had a hiccup there. Um, and then we'll do layer dot update fields. Okay, so I'm going to remove this again. So we can keep things straight over there. And let's click run. And a negative 2 is an invalid field index, it says. But let's see if it happens to delete the other one. Um, it did not delete either of them. But let's give it a count and see which field we have. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oops. So we should have 9. So we have 9 fields. So let's go ahead and change this to 7. Eight. Let's remove this, and I'm going to go ahead and we'll click Run again. No error that time, and let's open the attribute table and verify. So there you have it. We just have those two, uh, those two left. Good. Okay. Okay. So that's how you can add and remove fields. Uh, I think I'm going to leave, stop this video here and we'll come back in the next video and work uh, a little more on, on working with the fields and the field values and adding new values to fields.